and welcome to a new Beauty and the Boutique video with me, Katie, professional makeup artist, stylist, and founder of online store beautyandtheboutique.com. Today, I'm going to share my experiences with you about being shy. And that might come as a kind of a little bit of a weird thing because you think, well, hang on, uh, you know, I make lots of videos and put myself out there online. However, Believe it or not, I'm actually a very shy person. I've had to work on my confidence. So this video is all about the tips that have really helped me, be it at a party, at a social gathering, anything where you feel like you get that kind of sweaty palm feeling. I hope these tips are gonna help you. The first tip is really quite simple and can often be overlooked, but does make a huge difference. And it's quite simply to wear something that you feel really comfortable in. So this isn't the time to be trying out a new look. This is the time to wear an item of clothing or a look that you know you feel good in. It's a tried and tested look that you feel you're most confident in. Tip two is to arrive early. And the reason this works is if you arrive late to a party, often people have formed their kind of social groups and it can feel really intimidating to kind of try and enter those social groups and strike up a conversation. Whereas if you're early, as people arrive, it's much easier to kind of start those uh, small conversations. Plus, if you arrive early, it's an opportunity to offer the host some help, whether that's passing around drinks or snacks. But just by doing that, it kind of keeps you busy so you're not stood there feeling awkward, but it also provides the perfect opportunity to make conversation with new people that you might not know. It can be really intimidating when you go to a party or a social gathering and you kind of feel like, oh gosh, I don't know anyone. Don't worry, you don't have to talk to everyone. Perhaps set yourself a challenge to just simply chat to three people. And then if you chat to more, that's a bonus. But kind of managing your expectations and giving yourself that sense of control that you don't have to speak to everyone can just perhaps speak to three people. One of the most nerve wracking things can often be, oh my gosh, what am I gonna talk about? So go prepared. Before the party or social event, start thinking to yourself, what have I done lately? Start kind of reflecting on perhaps decisions you've made, books you've read, box sets you've watched and also come prepared with some open-ended questions that you can ask others, because ultimately, people always like to talk. Now, one of the most common questions you'll be asked is, what have you been up to lately? Now, quite often for most of us, when we're asked this question, it's almost like we've been put on the spot and it's like a test of how exciting our life is. But if I take a moment just before that event to think about actually what have I been up to lately? It doesn't have to be that you've, you're doing the most exciting thing. Sometimes the smallest details of your life can actually spark interest and a really great conversation with others. I'm pretty much certain that most people feel slightly, if not a lot out of their comfort zone when they're in, um, in and amongst people that they don't know. So take comfort in knowing this. And people could be looking at you thinking, oh gosh, you look so confident and self-assured, but actually inside you feel really shy. So just know that most people are in the same boat. And if you're talking to someone and you're stuck with what to say, or you feel really kind of not too confident, then simply tell them, do you know what? I, I actually feel really shy at parties and I can bet you it will break the ice and then they'll probably turn around to you and say, oh my gosh, yes, me too, and you'll strike up a great conversation and friendship. This tip is really helpful if you like the feeling of being in control. 
and it's quite simply to come up with an exit strategy for leaving the party. So if you find yourself at an event and you're feeling like, oh gosh, I really don't feel comfortable here. I've, I've been here for kind of an hour and I'm still not feeling in the flow. Then know that kind of as a backup plan, you've got an extra exit strategy. So think up a reason, a polite and nice reason to leave. Also, you might like to set yourself a challenge by saying, okay, I'm gonna go for an hour and then after that hour, I'll kind of have a think to myself, how am I enjoying this? You'll probably find that you're having a great time and you'll want to stay longer. But just going with that in mind, with an exit strategy and challenging yourself with, I'll just go for an hour or two and then see how I feel, it will help you feel a little bit more in control and more assured. Some of my most closest friends I've met from actually going to parties that I've actually thought about and felt really, really nervous about. So it's definitely been worth it for me and I hope it's worth it for you. And you know what? If you're at a party and you feel really, really uncomfortable, just smile because when you smile, people will always gravitate towards you and they will always smile back making you feel happier and more comfortable. I hope these have all helped you, these tips, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.